Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Ankit. So this video is about EPT, that is English Proficiency Test. This will be a very short video, but I'll try to clarify your doubts. Uh, I'm seeing that for the past few days, there is a lot of confusion and panic about EPT. So uh, let's begin with this video. Number one, what is EPT? So as the name itself suggests, uh, it uh, it is a test designed to test your proficiency in English, uh, or I can say in simple words, uh, how good you are in, how good you are with basics of English. It is a test designed to test that. So, what does the test comprise of? So the test comprises of basic uh, grammar questions, fill in the blanks. Uh, it could contain uh, articles or, uh, let's say, an example, a difference between then and then. So questions like these, very very basic English. Okay. Uh, so if you have studied in English medium schools so or if you are good with grammar, you will very easily uh, clear this test. Uh, and even if you do not clear this test, in fact, that is the whole purpose of this test. That if you are not very good with basics of English. VIT will teach you English for two semesters and if you are good with the basics of English, VIT will teach you English for one semester. So that is the whole purpose of this test that if you are not very good, VIT will teach you more and it will bring you at par with the students who are already good in English. So I hope this point is very clear over here. Uh, now uh, how hard is the test? So the test is not uh, very hard, uh, like I am sitting in front of you, you might have seen my older videos. So you can judge how good my English is and uh, in my first year it was definitely uh, even worse than this and I could complete that test in half the time allotted and I could easily clear that test. So what is the uh, passing marks or how many students will uh, qualify in that test? So there is no clear cut uh, criteria given by VIT about this test. Uh, we do not, do not we do, uh, I personally do not know and I do not think anybody knows what exactly is the passing marks or how many students are going to uh, qualify in this test. Uh, but uh, I would say uh, in my batch, if I remember correctly, I think about half the students pass it and half the students fail it. So uh, half of my friends failed and half of my friends passed. Even people, some some people who were uh, better than me in English, uh, they spoke better English than me. But I think my grammar was good, so that is why I was able to pass the test. So that is about EPT. Uh, now, does it affect your placements, your CGP, anything? So not at all. It does not affect anything at all. It is just a test which uh, determines if you are going to study English for only one semester or English for two semesters. So uh, if you pass the test, you will study in the first semester English for engineers. And if you fail the test in the first semester, you will study basic English. And in the second semester, you will study English for engineers. So this is the only difference. So I hope this video uh, has clarified your doubts. So do not panic. Uh, and if you are worried about what you should study in the next two days or three days to uh, pass the test, I would say do not study anything. You cannot improve your English from here to here in two days. So just relax and let it be as it is. Uh, if you have good basics, you will pass the test. And if you do not have good basics, uh, VIT will make sure that you have good basics. So that's it. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye.